Hey gang, what's going on? So I just wanted to update the last uh, few games and uh, just go over a few things about the those last three games that we just played and just in general what's been going on. So before I do that, if you like this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button and that bell icon because I don't want you guys to miss out on any content I put out as well as it's really greatly appreciated and extremely helpful for the channel. Um, also, if you like this kind of content, hit that like button as well. It, it also is greatly appreciated and very helpful for the channel. So, over the last three games, the Yankees have scored a total of 12 runs, which is averaging about four runs a game. And we have had some outstanding pitching performances by our starters as well as our relievers. Um, these three games really gave us momentum. They really helped. So breaking down game one, the Yankees won, I think it was 4-3 to three or 4-2 to two against Toronto. And that was a game we had to win. And it was came on Paul O'Neill Day, the same day that our young uh, rookie sensation Oswald, Oswaldo Cabrera made his major league debut and has given us a spark in... Game one against the Mets, we had Herman versus Scherzer, and Herman outdueled Scherzer in a four to two victory, I believe it was. And then last night we had Frankie Montaz uh, outduel Taiwan Walker in another four to two victory. So over the last three games, the Yankees hitting has drastically improved. The hitting has come alive. We have gotten our fans into it. And mo part of it is because of the spark that guys like Oswaldo Cabrera has provided for us and the fact that we're now starting to become healthier. With that being said, we are off today. And then we are on the road in Oakland for a four-game set with the A's. And in that series, we have our big bat, Giancarlo Stanton, coming back. This is going to be extremely helpful because it's going to give Rizzo... It's not going to give Rizzo, but it's going to give Judge protection. And then you can put Rizzo to slap behind Giancarlo Stanton to give him some protection. I do have to say the lineups that Aaron Boone has put out the last three games have been extremely effective. They have been producing... The one through six guys have been coming through and coming up clutch. IKF and the bottom three have been doing their thing. Last night, Jose Trevino had pinch hit for uh, Kyle Gashioka, I think it was. Came up with a big bloop single. And Aaron Judge got his 48th home run of the season. And he also drove in another run with a single. And the Yankees ended up winning that ball game. So we've won three straight. The Yankees have started to wake up, uh, wake up a little bit, partially in due in part to Aaron Boone's press conference. I think that also helped, as well as Aaron Judge calling out the Yankee clubhouse and the guys who are playing on this team. Uh, that's what we've been needing for quite some time, which is a vocal leader on the player side of the house. And I think Judge proved that he is the vocal leader that this team needed. Coming up against Oakland, it's going to be a uh, series that we should win. There's no excuses on why we can't. We have, we're getting a big bat back. Yes, we sent down Floriel to AAA to make room for Stanton. But uh, it's going to be extremely helpful to this lineup, especially since we are getting Stanton back. Um, as for the uh, series after that against the Angels, we should win that series too. Again, no excuses why we can't. We have uh, Our bats have woken up. The offense is starting to produce more. And the pitching has been fantastic. Uh, I just want to touch on Domingo Herman for a second. Because the last seven starts that he's had, 
He's only given up three or more runs twice. Once against Houston and once against Tampa. Every other start, it's been three runs or fewer. He has completely proven to me, at least, why he belongs in this rotation and why he's going to be a valuable asset down the stretch. As for Frankie Montaz, that was probably his best game yet. Uh, he definitely proved that trading for him was the right move. I still believe, even when he has a bad start, that trading for him was the right move. He has provided that protection for Cole, and I believe Cole has only gotten better because of the Montez trade. Uh, the Yankees really did improve this year, and the fact that the first deal that they made was to go and get Andrew Benintendi off of Kansas City has proved to be a genius move. It's been the perfect fit. He has woken up, his bat has gotten hot, and he has really produced over the last few, several games. Andrew Benintendi has started to fit in nicely. He has started to fit in even better than when he first got here. He's already uh, gone deep once. He's going to the opposite field, and he's providing a spark for this offense. The Yankees lineup yesterday was very well put together. I like the fact that Oswaldo Cabrera was in the lineup again and has been playing on a consistent basis. I like that Benintendi is leading off and is at the top of the order instead of fifth or sixth. I think that's where he does his most damage. I think that is where he does well and plays his best baseball. So going into this next series with Oakland, they need to keep putting up the fight, keep fighting hard, keep battling, and keep producing on the offensive side. Oakland is a team we should be able to beat, but don't take them lightly because they're going to make our lives miserable as well. It doesn't matter if they're in a last place position. They're going to try to ruin our lives just like it would be if it were the Red Sox. So not to take them lightly, but to continue to put the fight on and keep up the production. The starting rotation, again, has been outstanding. Clark Schmidt last night came in, threw three and a third, I think it was, pitched great baseball, and then we shut the door in the ninth to beat the Mets for the sweep. Um, one last thing, the upcoming series with Oakland, I think Frankie Montaz does pitch in that series. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure if that's true or not. I would have to look that up and get back to you. And we are facing J.P. Sears, I think. So that'll be a, a nice reunion to see J.P. Sears uh, pitching against us. I mean, it's not going to be fun to face him, but he it'll be nice to have a chance to see him again uh, as a, a visiting player and visiting team. But... Other than that, the Yankees have been playing outstanding. The pitching has been great. The offense is waking up. The offense is starting to produce. And the Yankees are starting to get out of this funk, We, uh, I hope, as well as all of us do. I think we'll be fine. I think this team is back, and I think they got the confidence that they needed from beating Toronto and beating the Mets in both games at home, especially that win over Max Scherzer. Not a lot of people can say that they can outduel or have outdueled Max Scherzer in a game. He is more than likely a sure first ballot Hall of Famer. If you look at his career numbers, his career numbers speak for themselves. So Domingo Herman can say that he has outdueled Max Scherzer. Uh, let's get into this some more. I'd like to hear what you guys think. In the comments section below, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to get into this with you guys uh, get and talk about the Yankees and how, how they've been playing the last few games. Till then, and until next time, I will see you guys later, over and out.